Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll learn how to create your uh, our own AI chatbot completely for free using Chatterbot. I will be doing this on a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, so let's update our packages using up update and up upgrade. Uh, I'll run sudo s first so we don't have to type sudo for all of all our commands. Now that this is all done, uh, we have to install pip, as it does not come included with the default installation of Ubuntu. Uh, Python is included, however, so we don't have to install it. Uh, you can check if you have Python in your system, just by typing Python or Python 3 dash dash version. And if it returns a, a version, it means that you have Python installed. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and in install pip using apt install pip. Now that pip is, is installed, uh, we can uh, install chatterbot by running pip install uh, chatterbot and specifying the version 1.0.0. Uh, now that the installation uh, is finished, uh, we can check check if, if it was successful or, or not just by running uh, python dash m. Chatterbot and then asking for each version. If it returns its, its version, that it means that uh, Chatterbot is success successfully installed. Uh, now we can use uh, the, lab uh, the library in a simple project. So let's create a main.py file and start writing some code. Uh, the code shown in this video will be pretty easy, but I'll leave a link in the description for the Chatterbot's documentation that I have open right here. Uh, so you can learn every way you can customize this bot and uh, make it fit, fit, your, fit your needs. It's pretty versatile and uh, the documentation is, is pretty good. I just created a main.py file and uh, we need to import some uh, some libraries. So I imported a uh, chatbot and uh, the uh, chatbot corpus trainer. Uh, we are going to import the corpus trainer uh, as we are going to use the provided corpuses to train this bot but you can uh, create your own corpuses or lists and use the list trainer to train your chatbot the documentation for the list trainer can be found in the uh, chatterbot's documentation go right here to training and there it is training via list data but uh, for the purposes of this video we'll use the uh, provided corpuses and uh, we can take a look at the structure of these uh, corpuses so we can get an idea how to write our, our own. So let's exit this file. And right here we have the uh, corpuses documentation. Uh, as per documentation, the corpuses are located in the site packages. Right here. But as I'm uh, using the pre-installed Python that comes with Ubuntu, I have them in my uh, dist packages, the location of which can be found with uh, this command. There are my dist packages. So I'll jump to that location. Uh, 
and as you can see we have the uh, chatterbat corpus folder right here let's see the into it and uh, inside we should uh, cd into its data folder and as we can see it has many uh, languages provided we are interested in english so we can cd into english and as you can see we have different yaml files here if we open one of these files we can view its structure so let's open the first file and as you can see it has categories and conversations uh, so the conversations are of uh, type like uh, question response question response and as you can see we have the same questions and different responses so uh, the uh, bot can choose between them based on the prior experience or whatever it finds more relevant based on the logic the logic adapters which we'll view in a bit so now let's go back to our main file and create an instance of of chatbot so we're going to add some par uh, parameters we're giving it the name and the logic adapter uh, let's open up uh, Chatterbot's documentation to have a better look at uh, how we specify logic adapters. Uh, the documentation can be a bit confusing, uh, but as we can see from the sample code down here, uh, one way to add uh, logic adapters is to specify the parameters uh, like this, where we specify the import path, default response and maximum simulator threshold. Uh, we are going to use the best match logic adapter, which selects a response based on uh, the best known match for a given statement. So let's do that just now. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna name it code. Uh, we are going to create a trainer now, and as we are going to use a corpus, we need a corpus trainer. So let's create that. We pass in the chatbot object. Uh, and now let's train our bot using the train method and passing in the name of uh, the folder like this. Now I'll write an example while loop to use the bot, but you can use whatever you want by utilizing the getResponse method and uh, passing a string into it. Uh, the method will return uh, uh, the bot's response. So now that it's all done, uh, we can go ahead and test our bot. I should work. So it downloads uh, some packages first. And we run into another error that says module collections has no attribute hashable. So you'll run in this uh, error using uh, Python uh, 3.10. Uh, this is because of some changes made in the collections module. Uh, to solve this, we just need to import collections.abc and set collections.hashable uh, equal to collections.abc.hashable. So let's do that. Should all be fine now. Let's try it again. And as you can see, our bot is now running. It finish, finished its training uh, in the uh, in all these files that were inside the English folder. So if you say hi to it, it'll say how are you doing. And. Uh, just to show you that it learns, like it's a machine learning uh, code, uh, I'm going to teach it to reply sleep when I say ZZZ, if, you, if that makes sense. So if I just force it to learn that, it will be a bit confused. But as you can see, it learned and when I say sleep, it now say, says ZZZ. To get rid of uh, uh, these uh, logs, uh, we can uh, just set the log level to critical 
so let's exit and set the lock level to critical So now we don't have those messages anymore. So if we take a look at the directory. Well, we can see that uh, it created a db.sqlite3 file. Uh, this is actually the uh, the chats database where it stores new responses and uh, learns from them. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And also, if there's anything you want me to cover, leave your ideas uh, down below as well. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video.